From our front lawns to our roadsides, we all know what grass is. It's something we see on a daily basis, but may not be something we pay attention to at all. So why would we care about grasses? To answer that, let me take you down the history of a little species I'd like to call Homo sapiens. Before humans, up to and over 40% of the entire Earth's landmass was grass. And to keep this brief, ancient humans were nomadic. This meant they moved around to find food, to find water, and to find shelter. And as humans became more populous, they decided it was probably easier to settle down in one area, build a community, and grow their own foods. Grasses slowly became our main sources of food, and now we have those grassy ancestors to thank for our modern-day corn, wheat, rice, barley, oats, you name it. So we can quickly see that grasses are very important in the daily lives of humans. But what is a grass? How does a plant get such an important and prestigious label? To answer that, let's look at how grasses grow and how we got to this stage. Grasses originated in areas that are drier and have much less tree cover. These are where the natural grasslands were located. This means that grasses already have a slightly higher drought resistance than their larger neighbors such as trees and shrubs. And our current turf grasses are related to our forage grasses. These species have either the growing points above or they have the growing points below ground. Many grasses have their growing points below ground, so herbivores and animals that graze and mow the tops of these grasses will not kill the plant as the growing point is already below the soil. Instead, grasses have evolved to be tolerant to grazing, and in some species, mowing causes strong tillering, which is just a fancy grass term for spreading. And you can see here that the rhizomes will turn to tillers. Going back to our original point of humans leaving their nomadic lifestyle behind, grasses naturally evolved alongside our ancestors' livestock, and eventually were naturally selected to require that grazing or mowing pressure. Now we fast forward a couple hundred years, and instead of having cows and goats always, you know, providing that pressure, now we have machinery such as lawnmowers or turf mowers that can remove the tops and have grasses that are now bred to be mown to be very short in height. The turf species that deal off cells now have all been developed to be mown to a very short height, maintain high density, and preserve the soil. In its most basic form, a turf grass is a dense, low-growing grass that preserves the soil and binds the soil aggregates, as we can see here. So we've learned a little bit about where our grasses originated and what a grass is. In the next video, we'll go over how to select a species for specific applications and why grasses are important in the quest for sustainability. We'll see you in the next video.